words from Bobby Karatanidis, considering it's the main event and the title fight, going to get it clean. As both fighters generally do, Vince Bembe is in the, the black and colourful shorts wash. And in the flared black shorts is the champion, Cabeza. And this fight is underway. This round is brought to you by Dragon Energy, the official energy drink of the EFC. That's oh. nice feet. Beautiful right strike from Cabeza off the bat as Bembe came in bouncing. Just such control in the range. Vince firing back with that up kick. Both guys nice and light. Oh, he's got the take down from Bambay's Cabeza. Can move into sides, scooping up the legs. The timing on the in and out was exceptional there. I think the timing so good. They put him in the contact position, straight went straight to the wrestling. Vince Bembe with that looking for that guillotine. As you can see from the in-play arts, Cabeza, a massive overwhelming favorite with the challenge of Bembe, a huge underdog. Particularly now that Cabeza really in his wheelhouse. This is his bread and butter inside now, which is the most outstanding wrestler we've ever seen in the hexagon. He's going to start going to work. A nasty position for Bembe. Big knees, leveraging himself off the control of uh, Bembe, getting that knee high into then driving into the ribcage. Vince has got to look to get the frames in, create some space and get the scramble going and get back up to his feet. Doesn't want Ego Cabeza on top of him. Ego looking to drop that left elbow. Vince doing exceptionally well in the defense of that elbow. Side control. He's got that wrist grip. Oh, spreads a full mount now for Cabeza. Bambo's going to give up his back. Great work technically in terms of the wrist holding from Cabeza. Now he's out. flattening him out. This is a world of a hurt now for Bambo. Cabez is looking for another clinical first round finish. He flat, re flattens him out now. That left hook coming and swinging. Staying in full mount as Bembe reverses round to get away from the back attack of Cabeza. Looking for a nice sweep. Bembe does well to stay active. But these shots from Cabeza are a pinpoint. He's giving up his back again as Bembe with his right arm. Cabeza is hooking away and just hunting for the rear naked. Flattening him out again. Such excellent control bar from Iggy Cabeza. The transition from mount to the back, so smooth. Oh, that's that's nasty. Big punches landing. Bobby Caratini is warning Bambo to make moving, but he's just covering up and going nowhere at the moment. Iggy's lost that one hook straight into the mount again. Good transition. Flattens him out. It's that grit of Vince Bambo that's keeping him in here. He's working exceptionally hard. Yes, yeah, pure guts from Bambe at the moment, but there's Rolls times... again, gives his back. He's just covering up as Cabeza just brings in those big hooks. Flattens him out with that underhook. And chin strap goes to the seat belt. Oh, the gets Oh, it's under now. You're naked, Tom. Bambe running with it. He's trying to roll. He's trying to grab down the wrist. He's got to grab it. Stopping it's over. Great run for Uber Cabeza. What a finish. His dominance continues. The Cabeza era carries on. The train rolls through Las Vegas after leaving Johannesburg tonight. What a fighter. What a, what a fighter, man. This guy just never stops amazing us with unbelievable performances. So in control the whole time. And not one moment did he look like he had lost anything. His timing was excellent. Caught him with that first jab. That timing again created the... Ability to get into the wrestling position, good takedown, found himself in the mount position. There was a couple of transitions from back to mount, back to mount, but the control was impeccable. Made sure he continuously worked with the hands. Vince Bembe, eventually giving it up, just too much for him. Good transition into the rear naked, didn't have it immediately, dropped into the pocket, turned him into the pocket, Strapped it up tight, dropped the head in behind, and the choke was on. It was deep, good finish. Man, this guy is just a, what a fighter. We're so privileged to watch a guy perform the way that he does. He can commit a dominant again. Yeah, I mean, just running out of superlatives about this guy's wrestling and his groundwork. You know, sometimes we overlook his kickboxing, his knockout power, but... He had Vince Bembe wherever he wanted him all the time. 
Biz did well to defend as much as he can, but once it was synced under there, he rolled with it the right way. You could see that it wasn't on, and he rolled in the right direction, got him to drop into the pocket, was able to tighten up the grip. You'll see as he drops in, he drops his head in on the side of him, and then extreme pressure through that rear naked choke. So strong. What a win, Igor Cabeza. Set himself up for a big opportunity. Let's wait to see what that is. Such an exciting fighter. Yeah, indeed. Great things in his future. I'm sure Vince Bembe will be back without a shadow of a doubt. Well, let's get the official result. We know what it is, but let's put it in the books with Kotsomo Pilal Gramopo. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Bobby Karijanidis has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes and 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring your winner by tap out due to rare naked choke. And still, the reigning, defending, undisputed featherweight champion of the world, Iga Smiley Kabasa! Enjoy the moment, Iga. It's all over to you, my brother. Give me your thoughts and emotions. First, I want to say, guys, <laughs> nobody fucking believed in us, man. Let me tell you guys a small little story. When I was in the airport student's village, just the orphanage, nobody fucking believed in me, except for that old man there. Where is he? There, this guy, this old man, he believed in me. And today I'm fucking grateful. My team believes in me. And that's why I'm great today. Thank you so much, guys, for coming out. It was an amazing event. Big up to my opponent. Thank you, Vince, for showing up. Guys, have a good evening. Stay blessed. Good. I'll have to ask you, where is your next fight going to be? Is it going to be in the hexagon, or is it going to be on foreign shores? Just tell us what's going to happen. So, um... I've learned one thing from Coach Jan. You can only control what you can control. What is out of your control, you can't control it. So at this current moment, what I can control is my training and staying fit and in shape. What the country has to do with my fucking situation has got nothing to do with me. I can't control them. They have to wake up and go make sure they make the right decision so that I can get my shit and go. Till that day, all I can control is my training. Africa, give it up for the greatest featherweight in the history of mixed martial arts on the continent, Iga Smiley Kabasa. What a champion, so dominant. And it... It's been by Vince, you're always an entertaining fighter, but he shut you out on the ground in the first round. Just give an idea of how you see all the fight play out. Um, as for me, I just want to say thanks to my coach and thanks to him for being here to give me an experience. Uh, it was really nice to fight, win or lose, we still praise the God, Lord God, Jesus Christ. I'm still, I'm still gonna go far from this end. I'm gonna still gonna fight again, I'm gonna uh, fight many guys as possible. So this was just a, a lesson learned from my side and I'm looking forward to go to the next one. And I'll just say thank you for my family to come and support me and everybody back home and says I tell you what in Tanda Gunbara cool but for you to put in support and I'm gonna musa I go so good to go parallel go to the lunch again let the best man win and he was the best man for tonight so congratulate him thank you You've lost before and you've come back stronger and that's what I expect from you. Johannesburg, give it up for Vince Bembe. Cracking display by the champion, so dominant again. Is there anybody that can stop him? Is there anybody that can bring him to his knees? Not that I can see at the moment. It's so exciting to see what's next for him. What a performance, what a night. Full of an amazing set of fights. Well done, the EFC.